initially when I started this project, it wasn't it wasn't about photography. I just really wanted to go to go there, you know. And since the mo since the moment we left Tixi, you know, when I was a kid, I was crying. I wanted to go back so much. I missed it like in a very very um, strong way, you know. And so after 19 years, I came back, and the reason why I came back was to for myself, to see it again, to experience it again. When, when I first went to Tixi, um, I, I was photographing everywhere, and then I went to, to the shore of the ocean, and I was just sitting there, and, and I saw a girl and her mother, they were sitting around the fire, and Tanya, this girl, she was throwing stones in, in, in the sea. And I took a picture, just one picture, and then I went back to, um, to New York. I was looking through old pictures, and none, none of the pictures didn't really ring a bell or anything. I was quite disappointed. But uh, then I saw just this picture, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is something. For some reason, I feel attachment to this girl. And I went back with this picture. I found her, and... Uh, I came to her house and all of a sudden the interior of the house, the every, everything, the way she talks, the, um, her family, I felt like this is almost like my family, it's almost like what I had when I lived there. light uh, in, in the Arctic is something very special because it's all snow so there is reflections from the, usually the sky is overcast and sometimes I don't know there is a picture where Tiny is wearing this um, white white suit that people use for hunting to be invisible and so she's completely merging into into the sky and into, into the to the snow you know, you can walk in the snow, you can run, and, and you can you can feel like as if you're in the in the vacuum because you don't see the the you don't see the horizon, and there is no really any anything that catches your eyes. So the when the colors appear in this environment, they become so bright and lit from everywhere. And this place is is not a fairy tale. I mean, the the reality of the place is. Uh, I would, I would say it's pretty sad because I mean, it's, it's an almost abandoned town out of, there used to be 12,000 12, people living there and now it's only four. And uh, when you walk around, you see that the houses are empty, people, people left and it's quite sad. But at the same time, I, I, I decided to photograph it from the position of the girl, the girl that doesn't know about the politics, the girl that doesn't know about, you know, things she's just being there in the present and enjoying the yeah, the moment and seeing it in her own way Tixi is um, is very as, as a town as a model of development and then nearly death of the Arctic town it's it's a model of the um, of life in, in Russian Arctic in general, unfortunately. I mean, there is of course some um, developments that were happening in, in, in Russia lately and scientific and, and all that, but m generally all these little towns are facing the same problems as Tixi. And because in, you know, during the Cold War and dur during Soviet Union, er people had this dream of Arctic as, you know, it, it was similar, uh, to going to the moon, you know, and, and and you can feel it when you're there because and and, and the Soviets, Soviet Union, they, they they put so much strength and effort into exploration of this place. You know, I just came back from the trip on the on the icebreaker, and we're visiting some islands that are now abandoned, but they're full of um, you know this strange constructions and that are left from military or from. Meteo stations, and but I have a 
I believe that we will go back, um, our country and people in general will go back to Arctic and they, they will look at it again and because it's important, you know, it's important um, nor northern passage for, for ships, it's, um, it's important in many ways. Um, so I think it was just the, the moment when the Arctic was sleeping, you know, and, um, but it will wake up again at some point. I do feel a little bit of responsibility of how people see, the, you know, because I know that through, through my pictures people see the region. But it's also a very, quite personal look. So, and sometimes I even felt, you know, when this project just just uh, was finished, I looked at the pictures and I'm like, oh, this is very, almost too, uh, maybe it's even too much, it's too sweet, it's too naive. And and it, it doesn't really tell the story of, of the place, but but it's okay, it's, 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 it's this kind of look also should exist. Maybe people relate to it because because Tanya, this, the girl and people on these images are re really are very special and really they do have a very beautiful and kind heart and maybe this shines through. Of course, it's, um, you know, when you look at somebody's portrait, why are you interested in this portrait? Because you somehow feel that this this person is it's in person's eyes or gestures that makes you attracted to them or you know sim sympathetic. Um, so I think it's about that um, because people are the core of of this of, of Tanya, this girl, and Uncle Vanya, and other people who are in the pictures and the dog. There, it's about them, and landscape is a background to to this whole thing.